Hi, Shiraz, and welcome back to, to my channel. Today, we're gonna be getting ready. We're gonna do a get ready with me. I don't think I filmed a makeup video in a while, so I'm really excited to be doing my makeup. This makeup that I'm gonna do today is kind of has been my go-to makeup. Lately, I'm more into like skin-like makeup, more natural. I mean, I'm a natural kind of girl, but sometimes I like that full coverage. But today, I'm gonna be doing a natural glowy makeup, no eyeshadow. I've been kind of loving the way my makeup looks when I don't do my eyeshadow, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. I already prepped my skin with my skincare, which you guys already know what skincare I use because I talk about it all the time on Instagram. Instagram so make sure you guys follow me on Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram what are you doing why don't you follow me go follow me I'm gonna put it right here so you guys can go follow me I'm gonna get, go ahead and get started so I don't know if I told you guys but I'm getting ready for our very first company dinner which I'm really excited about but before I tell you the cheese, I'm gonna be using the it cosmetics your skin but better foundation plus skincare you guys know I love love CC cream the it cosmetics CC cream that is my ride or die that is you're going with me especially if I'm going out of town because I love that it has like if I'm going on vacation I love that it has SPF I love the coverage that it has it is just so so good I've used that for years and then they came out with this one so this is your skin but better but foundation with skincare so this actually has skincare benefits this is not sponsored by by the way i did post something on instagram that i was able to work with them but ever since i've been using it they sent it over for me to try it out i am obsessed with it so oh wait i need my primer for primer i'm going to be using the hangover rx good to go spf moisturizer is this not a primer is it not a primer this is a moisturizer wow I thought this was a primer. Hold on. This whole time I've been using this as a primer. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Let me go get my primer. It has SPF, which is why I wanted to use it. So I'm still gonna use this. I just need an actual primer. All right. Well, I always do sunblock or like some kind of sun protection. So this I thought was a primer because it reminds me of their Hangover uh, RX primer. But obviously it's just a moisturizer with SPF, which is still good. I mean, I've been using it, but so I guess I have been doing my makeup without a primer. So this does have SPF, it's moisturizing, it has coconut water, so this is gonna be really, really hydrating to the skin, and obviously it's going to give you that SPF. Um, now I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer. Obviously, I want my skin super glowy today. I'm into that glowy makeup. This already gives your skin that glow. I'm gonna wait for the moisturizer to kind of seep into the skin, and I'm gonna drink my coffee. By the way, I've been drinking the Nespresso Bianco Leggero. I talked to you guys about this on Instagram as well. So good, but it's a double shot espresso, so you don't really get a lot. But one of you sent me a DM and told me to just press the button twice. So I did that today, but I didn't add enough creamer. So it's a little strong. This is a grown coffee. Grown. Whenever we drink, like my sister and I, whenever we drink like really strong coffee and we try it, we're like, Ooh, we felt grown today. This is a grown coffee. Now I went ahead and applied my Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer. And now we are ready for our foundation. I'm gonna let this kind of seep into the skin as well. You also, you always wanna give your products time to kind of work, get worked into the skin before you go into the next product. So while we do that, I'm going to start working on my brows. I'm going to be using the Micro Brow Micro Filling Pen as well as my, precisely my brow from Benefit. I'm just going to brush up my brows. So right now my brows are pretty decent. I got them done not that long ago. They're still looking decent. I'm actually gonna go in with the micro filling pen. I don't know if you guys have tried this product, but it is amazing. It really mimics the sh like your hair. So when you do your brows, it looks so unbelievably natural. It looks so good. I love it. And I just kind of like to do this in the areas where I know that my brows are super sparse and I just need a little bit of filling. I love more of a natural brow. I'm really not into that perfect brow. That's just me. I just feel like it looks, for me, it looks nicer when my brow just looks a little bit more natural. Wherever I want a little bit more precision than pre precision. Then I go in with the precisely my brow. So I'm just gonna leave my brows like this. Super natural, not super full. And now we're gonna go in to the foundation. So for the foundation, I already have a little bit on the brush, but I'm gonna put another little pump. And I'm just gonna start working this into the skin and it just looks so natural on the skin, but it gives you coverage. It does have medium coverage and it is buildable. I just wanna show you guys like it just looks so good. So my shade is medium warm 32, and I think it's like a really good shade. And I'm using the It Cosmetics, the Heavenly number seven brush. I also applied it with, I don't have it here, but their Skin Heavenly brush, I think that's what it's called. That's a really nice brush too. This brush is just like my go-to. And I just like to press the foundation into the skin. I'm gonna do one side so you guys can see how good it looks. Do you see that? 
I'm a little bit less tan in my body, which is why the foundation looks a little bit darker. When I was tan, it looked perfect. Once I apply concealer, it just evens out. You guys see that? It's literally just your skin, but better. So as I mentioned, we're having our first company dinner, which I'm so, so excited about. We're taking the team to Dama. We're going to Dama in downtown LA. They have a really cute outdoor seating, which by the way, if you guys haven't been there, you need to go. The drinks are good. The food is good. The ambiance is good. The restaurant is super cute. You know, super Instagram friendly where you can take really cute photos. So we decided to take the team there just to kind of thank them for all their hard work, for helping us throughout these We've, we've had Allery for, I think we're going on three years, but I feel like in the last year, we've really switched things up on the brand. I've dedicated more time to it. I've been more consistent because it was a little hard for me to find that balance between being a business owner and running, you know, my social media, my YouTube and all of that. It's a lot of work. So it was difficult for me to find that balance. Like I just wanted to be laser focused on my YouTube channels, on my Instagram and all of that. But I knew that I still had Allery that I needed to dedicate the time to. So while I was kind of in limbo figuring things out, the team was really there to kind of take on tasks and kind of remind me like, hey, this is when you see it done and really help me because I would not be able to do this on my own. It's not just me. It's an entire team that everyone has like a piece to the puzzle in order for it to be complete. You know what I mean? So just as, like, as a token of our appreciation, Dennis and I wanted to take them out to eat, have some drinks have some food they have really good drinks there uh, they have this watermelon drink that I actually posted on my Instagram it's so cute but it's so good I think it's made with mezcal I've told you guys but tequila to me when I drink it I can drink vodka and I can go longer if I drink tequila after three shots I'm like <sighs> so I always kind of try to stick to vodka even though you know I love my tequila it's just kind of like it just depends on the ambient. So this is what the foundation looks like with just one application. I always like to rub it kind of on my lids, but look at how pretty. It leaves your skin super glowy. It looks natural, like your skin is still peeking through. Your skin tone looks even. I don't know, I just really, really, really like it. And you use it and you see benefits in your skin. Like your skin starts looking soft, feeling and looking softer. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more in this area because that's kind of where I always like more coverage. You guys have asked me a lot to do more videos on. On how I started Allery, how I started like my business venture and all of that. And I think I'm gonna do uh, not a series on the channel, but I definitely want to do more videos. Maybe Dennis and I can do some because I feel like he's the one that really taught me a lot and guided me because I knew nothing. You know, when I started my first business, um, I knew nothing. I, I did not know what I was doing. I didn't know that I needed a business license. I had no idea where to get it. So it's like, it's a lot of information. So I would like to film some videos because I know that you guys have been wanting for me to talk about it. Now for concealer, I'm gonna take the Milani Conceal and Perfect Long Wear Concealer in the shade 140 Pure Beige. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this. This is not going to give me like super highlight because I want more of a natural makeup. So I'm just going to focus this where I get a little bit more darkness, especially kind of like in that inner corner. That area tends to get really dark. This kind of highlights, but not crazy. Trying to hide that mustache. The other day, someone sent me a DM. I was like, damn girl, that mustache. And I'm like, you think I don't know that? You think I don't see my face? You think I don't see the damn mustache? It's not even a mustache. It's just a shadow. I got that five o'clock shadow. So if you guys have any uh, tips, let me know. Because I do wax. Like I use little wax strips at home waxing. And I don't know if that's causing the darkness or whatever it is. It needs to stop. Okay, I'm going to blend out my... Actually, I'm going to let the concealer kind of sit there for a little bit. So yeah, we're going to be going to Dama. And our team right now, we're a team of... We're eight. Eight. My mom now helps us, which I love because she actually retired a long time ago. But she, you know, she's like, I want things to do. Like, I can't just be home. And we started getting busy. And I was like, Oh, mom, if you want to come help us, like, you can help us with these things. And so now she's helping us. So now she's part of the team, which makes me so happy. My brother is also part of our team. Obviously, it's Dennis and I. And then I have our social media girl. And then I have our customer service girl. We've built such a really nice family that I know that I can trust on them. If I go out of town, I know that they're going to get things done. And it's just... If I need feedback, they're always there. It's just really nice to know that we've built a family within our business. And obviously, thank you so much to every single one of you guys that have supported Allery. Um, this is from Allery. This is one of our new tops. This is the Aubrey top. Okay, now I'm gonna start blending out this concealer. And I'm just going to tap tap lightly. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Magic Sponge. I like to call it my little magic sponge because it's so good. This concealer is also really good. The Milani one. How do I get rid of the five o'clock shadow? Sometimes when I'm doing my stories on Instagram, I'm like, damn. Damn, girl. I'm gonna take this little brush. This is from Persona and I'm just going to press in 
the concealer and start to blend it out. I don't want to bring it all the way into my lid like I normally do. So instead of pushing this way, I'm kind of pushing the opposite direction because I want my lid to have my natural color. Once I blend that out, I'm gonna set my concealer with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This is my favorite setting powder other than like the Laura Mercier. For, for pressed powder, that's my favorite and I use the number two. And I'm just going to make sure I set my concealer, making sure that I just focus the powder in my under eye because I don't want to set anything else on my face. I still want that glow. All right, once we are done with that, now we're gonna move on to uh, contour and I'm gonna be using the Honey Glaze number four from Fenty Beauty. You guys know, I love this with this buffing brush from Real Techniques. You know, I would always dream of these days, like I would dream of the time that like we had a company, like a company where we had like our employees and we could take them out and we can like celebrate. And now to like live that is, is crazy to me, but it's so exciting and like I'm so, so grateful. I take the bronzer and just start pressing it and it like, contour and bringing it up to the forehead and to kind of blend out the edges i just take my foundation brush with no additional product and i just kind of press it on top and it just blends out nicely nicely next we're gonna go in with the fenty beauty cream bronzer these are my favorite favorite and i'm gonna take um petal poppin and i'm gonna take the same brush i already kind of cleaned off the bronzer How pretty. And then I just apply a little bit on my nose because why not? Then I forgot to show you guys what I do with my eyeshadow. So go back to the bronzer and I just grab a little bit on the corner of the brush, just like a little bit. I always tap on my hand before I apply it to my face. That way you don't apply too much. And then I just run it like on the crease and it just adds warmth to the eye. It just ties everything together because the bronzer is all over the face. And this is literally all I do for shadow. For highlight, I'm gonna take the Smashbox Halo Glow Highlighter in Golden Pearl. And I'm gonna take this one with this Smith brush. This is the 112. This highlight is bomb. And I like to kind of press it in and just do like a like a thin layer and then set my makeup and then do like another layer. And to set, I'm gonna take this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Mist. Mm, 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 mm. So once we set it with the Glow Recipe Glow Mist, we're gonna go in again. And what this does is that it makes the highlighter look more like skin versus powder. And then we're gonna set it one more time. One more again. That's why I like to do this after, I mean before I do my lashes because I'm going to set and I don't want my lashes to get all wonky and wet. All right, so for eyes, I'm just gonna pop on some lashes and then we'll be back for the lips. All right, we got lashes on and these are Batty Bees and Batty. Now for lips, we are gonna go in with this Dose of Colors escape lip liner so we're just going to line our lips all right we're going to change to this one and this is the house labs and r.i.p okay and on top of that we're going to go in with saucy gal this is from artist couture and i love his lipstick formulas they're so creamy and on top of that we're going to go in with the alamar in dulce okay mr Las, and now i am all ready super glowy super cute natural-ish makeup, no eyeshadow needed, just a little bit of cream bronzer on the lids. That's kind of been my go-to. Honestly, eyeshadow is like the one thing that I dread when I do my makeup. So if I could just concentrate on complexion, I'm a happy girl. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. Don't forget to like it if you guys like these chit chat, get ready with me's and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. My hair looks a little frizzy, huh? Cuando el amor se acaba.